Here is a circle, and the distance around the circle, the circumference, is given as c. So what is the radius length of the circle? How do we find the radius of a circle given the circumference? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson, and you'll be pleased to know it's very easy. I'm sure you're familiar with the irrational constant pi. Remember that pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, which is the same for every circle. And remember that the diameter length of a circle is the length of a line segment connecting two points on the circle and passing through the center. So the length of this green segment here in our diagram is what we could call d, the diameter length of the circle. The radius length of a circle is the distance from the center to any point on the circle, which is necessarily half of the diameter. And so, of course, the diameter, multiplying both sides of this equation by 2, is equal to 2 times the radius. So look at this. If we substitute 2r in for d in this equation, and then just solve for r, we will have the radius of the circle in terms of circumference. So let's do that. Let's substitute 2r in for d, the diameter. So we have that pi is equal to the circumference divided by 2r. Remember, we want to get the radius r by itself, so for starters, let's divide both sides of the equation by c. That way, the only variable we'll have over here is r. So dividing both sides of the equation by c gives us pi over c, pi divided by the circumference, is equal to 1 divided by 2 times the radius. Then, to get 2 times the radius into the numerator, all we have to do is raise both sides of this equation to the power of negative 1, which, put simply, will just flip both fractions. So we'll go from this equation to the circumference divided by pi being equal to 2 times the radius. And again, that's just raising both sides of the equation to the same power, negative 1, which has the effect of flipping both fractions. Then, just divide by 2, and we're done. Dividing both sides of this equation by 2, we get what we're finally looking for. The radius is equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. So let's try out the formula we just figured out. Suppose we're given that the circumference of this circle is equal to 10 pi centimeters. Then, using this formula, we know that the radius length of the circle, r, must be equal to the circumference, which is 10 pi centimeters divided by 2 pi. Of course, those pi's will cancel out, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the radius length of the circle is 5 centimeters. So again, if you're given the circumference of a circle, then to find the radius, just divide that circumference by 2 pi. And remember, you might not always be given a circumference in terms of pi. So when you go to find the radius, you might not get a nice whole number, and you might have to round. And with that said, before you go, try out a practice exercise. Suppose you're given that the circumference of a circle is equal to 7 meters. Then what is the radius of that circle? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth place, and let me know what you get down in the comments. I'll leave the solution in the description. So I hope this video helped you understand how to find the radius length of a circle when given circumference. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.